Starting off this countdown, we have the sea jellies. Sea jellies or jellyfish have been around since over 500 million years ago. A reason being is that they are highly adaptable when it comes to change, whereas other animals might die off easily when put in more intense situations. Not only that, but jellyfish thrive in areas of water with depleted oxygen, otherwise known as dead zones, and they thrive in warmer temperatures. Their predators, on the other hand, like sea turtles, fish, and sharks, struggle in these environments. So they're just out there thriving and reproducing. In our number nine spot today, we have the frilled shark. Okay, regular sharks are of course scary and powerful, but the frilled shark looks extra terrifying because it actually just looks like a full on monster. The frilled shark is a species of deep sea shark that got its name from the six to seven frilled gills it has on the sides of its snake like body. This shark can grow up to 1.8 meters or six feet long, and its mouth is full of 300 razor sharp teeth. The shark was one of the first deep sea species to ever be discovered because how could you possibly miss something that looks like this? But because it makes its home so deep in the ocean, and because of the fact that it cannot withstand the pressure change when brought up closer to the surface, a lot remains a mystery about these guys. What's worse than a shark is a mysterious shark. In our number eight spot today, we have the Helicorprion. Sure. Okay, listen, there are many, many problems with our modern world. We could sit here talking about them all day and into next week, there are so many. But here's one thing that we need to realize. Things could be so much worse, and by worse, I mean this creature could still exist. This animal existed somewhere around 250 million years ago, and while it looks more like a shark than anything else, scientists now know that it's actually a creature that is related more closely to chimeras, which are a fish that separated from the shark family about 400 million years ago. So why is this animal so scary and just terrible to look at? Well, that is due to the incredibly unsettling spiral saw formation of teeth that this creature had right on their lower jaw. Yeah, an orthodontist's dream, truly. It's also not like this creature was just born with the teeth that they had for the rest of their lives. No, of course not. They had teeth that could grow and new teeth could even form. Imagine being in the ocean and you see a huge creature swim up to you that has four spiral saws for teeth. Yeah, no thanks. In our number seven spot today, we have the deep sea dragonfish. These guys are a pretty strong contender for strangest looking animal on this list. These predatory fish use their fang-like teeth to grab onto their prey in their dark, cold, deep sea environment. They have no scales and instead slippery eel-like skin, which only adds to their creepiness level. Similar to an angler fish, these guys have a little lighted barbel that hangs from its lower jaw to attract its prey towards it. These fish really use bioluminescence essence to their advantage, but they also have another less common ability. Firstly, since many of their prey are also bioluminescent, they have a special stomach that will ensure the light cannot be seen from inside of their stomach so as to not give away their position. And secondly, they are also able to produce a red glow. This glow is thought to perhaps be used to signal other dragonfish, but it is definitely used by them to illuminate and detect their prey. They are the only known fish that has the ability to both produce and see red light, as most fish can only see a more blue light. So while these guys are definitely very creepy to look at, they're also pretty interesting and talented. In our number six spot today, we have the Jacolopterus. Okay, I've got three words for you. Giant sea scorpion. Yeah, remind me to never go into prehistoric oceans. This eight foot long arthropod lived in the water with its gross, two large pinchers and claws, and honestly, it looks like something out of the movie Alien. These guys had segmented bodies, and they are actually the largest known arthropod to have ever existed here on Earth. They had multiple specialized limbs, and some of them even had spikes. Like for example, their 18 inch spiked claw that was used to snatch fish as they passed by. It is said that some of these guys would crawl out of the water in order to mate, and sometimes shed their outer skin. And all I have to say is, imagine finding an eight foot long molt of one of these creatures on the beach right before you're about to jump in for a swim. You wouldn't, right? 
I'd swear off all water after that. Not even drinking it anymore. In our number five spot today, we have the goblin shark. A goblin shark is sometimes called a living fossil because the rest of the family that this type of shark belongs to have actually gone extinct. These sharks have pink skin and a long snout that sticks out really far, and these really creepy teeth that are like nails. When these sharks were first discovered by humans in 1910, the guy who's researching um, the guy who was researching them wrote that the new shark is certainly grotesque and honestly not much has changed since then I'd definitely be inclined to agree they usually grow to around three or four meters which is 10 to 13 feet but in 2000 there was one that was caught that was six meters or 20 feet long these sharks tend to stay pretty deep in the ocean with the adults swimming even deeper than the young ones so the good news about that is they probably aren't much of a threat to humans in our number four spot today we have the chronosaurus this Cretaceous marine reptile is one that had an elongated head, a short neck, and a stiff body that was propelled by not just one, but two sets of fins that helped propel it through the water and through strong currents in order to capture whatever prey it was after. These guys were somewhere around 30 to 40 feet in length, and they had many, many long, sharp, conical teeth, with some of them being enlarged to be fangs. So. Yeah, I mean, what more could you want in a terrifying sea creature? Along with the fossils found of these guys, experts have been able to determine some of the stuff they ate, and it includes turtles, as well as other pliosaurs, which these guys are a part of that genus, meaning they basically ate their own family. I'm just saying, the Meg might have some stiff competition when it comes to these guys. In our number three spot today, we have stonefish. These fish are one of the most venomous known fish, and although they are primarily marine, some species are known to live in rivers as well. Most of these guys can be found in coral reefs near the tropical Pacific and Indian oceans. The name of these fish comes from their camouflage color, which allows them to blend in with their surroundings, but unfortunately, because they are so good at disguising themselves, swimmers may not notice or see them and then inadvertently step on them, which can cause a whole slew of issues. When a stonefish is disturbed, it will inject an amount of venom proportional to the amount of pressure it's feeling, and this venom is coming from the glands at the base of their needle-like dorsal fin. The sting of a stonefish is said to be extremely painful, and if left untreated, it can certainly be fatal. The poison within the venom that the stonefish possesses is a proteinaceous toxin called verrucotoxin. The symptoms of this poison include respiratory weakness, damage to the cardiovascular system, convulsions and paralysis. Although there are many studies that have been done on this toxin, much about how it works and the exact mechanisms of it are not yet fully understood, which just places this already terrifying creature in a cloud of mystery. In our number two spot today, we have the Leviathan. If we were to look at our ocean today, we of course would see sharks as one of the top predators that exist. I mean, some sharks are huge and they certainly know how to hunt, but they aren't the only scary creatures roaming the oceans. Sometimes kill Killer whales make such a grand appearance that they even scare off some of the most terrifying sharks and make them flee for incredible distances. This is something that was also seen many, many years ago, I mean millions of years ago, during the time of the Megalodon, and that is thanks to a gigantic creature known as the Leviathan. If you are unfamiliar, this is a now extinct genus of macroraptorial sperm whale. It is believed that they could weigh around 100,000 pounds and reach up to 50 57 feet in length, and it's thought that their size is what helped repel other predators while helping them become the predator themselves. The Leviathan also had enormous teeth, teeth that reached over a foot in length, which is what gave them the title of largest bite of any tetrapod ever. In our number one spot today, we have the long arm squid. Listen, not all that terrifying, but they're just so creepy and gross. The big fin squid is not often seen, and thank goodness for that, because they are so unbelievable unbelievably freaky. They can be found in many different oceans, but they live in the permanently dark zone of the ocean, around 1,219 meters or 4,000 feet deep in the sea. On November 11th, 2007, as an ROV was searching around the deep waters in the Gulf of Mexico, it was able to catch one of these guys on film.
While there is still a ton that remains a mystery about these very elusive creatures, it is believed that they can grow to be around 23 feet long or over 7 meters. The real creepy stance that these guys have is when they hold their extremely long appendages perpendicular to their body, which creates like a sort of elbow look. I don't know, it just freaks me out. Imagine waking up and having a giant squid with elbows floating around your room. I know it's not gonna happen, but I'm just saying, that would be very scary. <laughs> Starting off this countdown, we have coelacanth. What's confusing about these fish isn't their name. It's the fact that everyone thought that they went extinct alongside the dinosaurs. Then, millions of years later, they were rediscovered. These dudes have the most famous comeback story of all time. So, in the 19th century, scientists discovered a fossil of this fish. This fossil was over 410 million years old. They thought that they went extinct over 66 million years ago. So, it shocked scientists in 1938 when they were rediscovered off of the coast of South Africa. But they did have have some new features thanks to evolution. Now the fish has four fins that move more like limbs than fins. Theory goes that maybe they were going to become a land dwelling amphibian and then they kind of just changed their mind. I know that's not how evolution works, but it's the easiest way to describe it. So yeah, here's a creature that used to rule the world alongside dinosaurs. In our ninth spot today, we have the vampire squid. Vampire squids are considered a living relic. They are said to have evolved from an ancestor of the octopus. In fact, their lineage goes all the way back. 165 million years ago. And that's probably why this creature resembles both a squid and octopus, but are neither. It's confusing. This thing has eight arms and two tentacles. Its arms are lined with spines that are arranged in two rows. What's also unique about this creature is its color, which can change depending on where they are in the ocean. They also have the largest eyes in the entire animal kingdom, which is wild because they are massive in comparison to the size of their body. But don't don't be fooled by its name, okay? It doesn't go around sucking blood out of other sea creatures like vampires. In fact, it gets its name from its dark color and the skin that connects the arms kind of resemble a cape. In our eighth spot, we have the tadpole shrimp. These tiny little guys have been around for more than 200 million years, despite the fact that they are short lived. They typically only live for about two to four weeks, but they thrive for so long because of the fact that their eggs only hatch when the environmental conditions are favorable. In fact, the eggs are resistant to their environment and have been known to remain dormant for two decades. It's pretty wild, right? Now these guys are called the tadpole shrimp because of their distinctive body shape. They are shaped like an oval with a long forked tail. The tail can extend up to four inches in length. Not only that, but some of these guys may have up to 70 pairs of limbs, and that's a lot. Coming in at number seven, we have the sturgeon. Sturgeon are ancient fish that used to swim around when dinosaurs roamed the earth. In fact, they are about 200 million years old. Fun fact is that these bad boys have a long lifespan. In fact, some of them live to be about 100 years old. Now, what's weird is that the sturgeon, unlike every other fish, don't have scales. Instead, their skin is rubbery and only have a few rows of bony scoots. Another fun fact is that they can grow up to be over seven feet long and can weigh 300 pounds. Now, that is one big fish. Imagine swimming around in a lake and seeing this guy swim right by you. No thank you. New fear unlocked. Sadly, their population is dwindling, but there are a number of cities out there determined to protect their habitat. In our sixth spot, we have the horseshoe shrimp. Now, this is considered a living fossil, and that's because it has hardly changed over the years. I mean, they've been around for 200 million years, and they still basically look the same. Now, they get their name because their body curves a bit like a horseshoe, but they're tiny. They're about 1.5 inches in length. Some species can grow bigger, others grow smaller. Now, these guys have no eyes, which baffles scientists because they would think that after all these years, they would evolve to have eyes. But no, not at all. What else is interesting is that they are hermaphroditic, meaning they have both male and female reproductive organs. You learn something new every day. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with SpongeBob SquarePants. And by SpongeBob, I mean a sponge. Now, what's interesting is that no one knows for sure how old the sponge is, but a rough estimate would be that they are at least 760 million years old, which then makes them the longest existing marine life species still around. 
Another fun fact is that a single sponge can live to be around 200 years old, meaning SpongeBob will surpass all his friends in age. That's a little sad, like he'll be alone while he watches all his friends die around him. Anyways, sponges also often use chemicals to deter predators from eating them. Scientists have discovered that some of these chemicals may have potential to treat cancer and HIV, which is incredible. In our fourth spot today, we have the hagfish. Now, I personally hate these things, okay? They creep me the hell out. They literally look like human intestines. But what's even more gross are their feeding habits. So basically, they consume other sea creatures by burrowing their way into them. They literally create a massive tunnel into the creatures and then eat them from the inside out. Okay, how is that not creepy? Not only that, but it secretes this slime to ward off predators. The slime is so sticky that it can clog the gills of the attackers. Okay, they're so creepy and they've been around for 300 million years. In our third spot today, we have the walruses. Aren't these guys so silly and goofy looking? From fossil records, it's believed that walruses date back anywhere from 600,000 years to 14 million years ago. But the ones dating back millions of years ago were not quite like the modern walruses. They don't have the elongated upper canines, but you know, evolution is a thing. However, walruses are currently at risk. Due to climate change, they are losing stable sea ice to chill on, making it harder for them to hunt for food and such, and it's really sad. In our second spot, we have mud skippers. Now, these are pretty interesting creatures that have been around for over 350 million years, according to fossil records. They have the body of a tadpole, but a face of a frog or something. I don't know. So these things can reach around 2.75 to 9.7 inches inches in length. They are usually an olive brown color, however, some species are covered with blue markings. They also have protruding eyes, two pectoral fins, and two dorsal fins. The freakiest thing about them is that they can move their eyes around independently from each other, as in one eye can be looking up while the other is looking down. It's kind of cool, but it's also kind of weird. Like imagine if humans could do that, that would be wild. And in our number one spot today, we have the whale shark. Although these guys look intimidating, they aren't. In fact, they are often referred to as gentle giants. They are huge, but not really aggressive. They can grow to be up to 12 meters long. In fact, they are declared the world's largest fish. A reason why they get the reputation of being gentle giants is because they are filter feeders. They can neither bite nor chew, but they can process more than 6,000 liters of water an hour through their gills. Now, its mouth can stretch to four feet wide, but their teeth are so tiny that they can only eat small shrimp, fish, and plankton by using their gill rakers as a suction filter. Not only that, but less than 10% of whale sharks born survive adulthood, which is sad. But those that do can live to be 150 years of age, which is surprising since they have been around anywhere from 245 to 65 million years ago. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have the Mosasaurus. During the Cretaceous period, which spanned about 145 and a half to 65 and a half million years ago, there was this genus of reptiles called Mosasauruses. These things were absolutely huge aquatic reptiles that roamed throughout the waterways here on Earth. Because of their size, they became apex predators during this time and have been estimated to have grown to about 56 feet. At the time of their existence, it isn't exactly likely that they would have encountered any sharks that are alarmingly large like the Megalodon was, but I mean, the Cretaceous period certainly had some other massive creatures that put up some stiff competition. This is of course, like I mentioned, an entire genus, so there are definitely some less threatening species in the mix, but there are some in there who would have given the Meg a run for their money should they have existed at the same time. In our ninth spot today, we have Nautilus. This is an ancient mollusk that has been around for 500 million in years. In fact, they have been around before Pangaea was even fully formed. Now, originally there were 10,000 different species, but now only a few are left and are at risk of extinction. That's because of us. We are over harvesting them, and on top of that, they are slow at reproducing. They need to be left alone right now because they run the risk of extinction. It's kind of sad once you think about it. Like they survived for hundreds of millions of years and only now start to die thanks to 
humans. Coming in at number 8 we have the horseshoe crab. Now what's trippy is that despite their name, they are not crabs. In fact, they are more closely related to spiders or scorpions, isn't that weird? Now these bad boys are considered one of evolution's ultimate survivors. That's because they date back to 450 million years, meaning they survived 5 mass extinctions. Now these guys can grow anywhere from 18 to 19 inches, from head to tail. Males grow a little less in size, only being 14 to 15 inches. Still, that's pretty big. The horseshoe crab consists of three parts. They got a front shell, a back shell, and a tail. Now you may be looking at this tail and you're like, whoa, what the hell? No, 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 that thing can sting me and then kill me. False, horseshoe crabs, although creepy looking, are harmless, but they do have eyes everywhere. They have 10 in total and that freaks me out. In our seventh spot today, we have the goblin shark. Now if you've seen my other video on sea creatures, then you know how much I hate this guy. It literally gives me the creeps and I'll show you why in a second. Now the goblin shark has actually been declared a living fossil. And that's due to the fact that it was thought to have gone extinct millions of years ago. That was until 1891 when a goblin shark was spotted off the coast of Japan. Researchers realized that the shark was indeed still alive. And in fact, it barely changed over time, hence why it's considered a living fossil. So these creatures can grow 12 feet long and can weigh up to 460 pounds. But in 2000, they found a giant goblin shark that was 20 feet long. So now researchers say that they have no real idea about how big they can truly get. Now these things have the creepiest looking appearance. Hence why I'm not the biggest fan of them. Plus they have this weird ligament thing in their jaw that makes it so that they can extend their mouth out and snatch up their prey. Plus their mouths launch out really fast. That's also why its mouth area just looks so creepy. In our sixth spot today we have the lamprey. Has anyone here watched a series of unfortunate events? You know, the movie with Jim Carrey, not the TV show. Well, you know that scene where they're on the lake and the giant leeches start attacking their boat? Well, lamprey look exactly like those giant leeches. These things look like they're a mix between a snake, an eel, and a leech. They can be anywhere from 5 to 40 inches in length, and they attack fish by sucking the life out of them. They're literally like a vampire. Now wait until you see their mouth. They have 11 or 12 rows of teeth that wrap around in their mouth like a ring. And once they latch onto their victim, they use a barbed tongue to pierce the fish and then just drain the blood out of them. They also excrete a blood thinner to prevent blood clotting. What's crazy is that these creatures have survived four major extinctions in their 360 million year existence. That is wild. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the frilled shark. Now this is another pretty creepy looking shark. In fact, it doesn't even look like a shark. It looks like an eel mixed with a snake mixed with a shark. But fun fact, these sharks are actually the cousins of the great white shark and the hammerhead shark. Now these bad boys have been around for 80 million years. Pretty insane, right? They live in the dark abyss of the deep sea and have rarely changed over the years. Now they were given the name of the frilled shark because because of the frilly appearance of their gills. They also are kind of similar to snakes because they have hinged jaws that allow them to eat big creatures whole. But you don't need to worry, okay? They live deep in the ocean and they don't really show themselves to humans. In our fourth spot today, we have the Wabagong shark. Again, another shark that doesn't really look like a shark. And that's because this shark has camouflage techniques and it likes to blend in with algae covered rocks or the ocean floor. And they do a good job with it too, with their flattened bodies and speckled patterns on their bodies. Now these dudes have been around since 11 million years ago. But don't worry, these sharks don't attack. They'll leave you alone if you leave them alone. The only time they have attacked is when a diver got too close or someone accidentally stepped on one. But no fatalities have ever been reported. In our third spot we have the Greenland shark. This shark is said to be one of the longest lived vertebrate animals. The shark is also said to be one of the world's largest carnivores and one of the most successful predators in the arctic waters. These massive sharks are about the same size as a great white shark and eat crustaceans along with things that have fallen off of the ice shelf above. Also, apparently these creepy worm like parasites like to attach themselves to these sharks eyes and literally eat their eyes out, okay? I think that's scarier than the shark itself. But yeah, the Greenland shark is still alive today. They live for at least 250 years. One of them lived for 400 years. Some may live to be 500. Isn't that crazy? For reference, a great white shark lives for only 70 years. So they got nothing on the Greenland sharks. Coming in at number two, we have a pygmy right whale. 
Now, these whales have been around for about 23 million years. In fact, they are considered one of the rarest species of whales. Around 2 million years ago, they were thought to have gone extinct. That was until 2012 when they were rediscovered. Besides that mystery, there's another one, which is scientists don't know where exactly this whale evolved from. There's been much debate over this for a while. What we do know though is that these whales like cool waters, which is what puts them at risk because of climate change. Scientists are worried the rising ocean temperatures will wipe them out for good. And in our number one spot today, we have the whale shark. Here's another name that does not match the creature because this animal is not a whale at all. It's not even a whale shark hybrid. The only reason it's called a whale shark is because of its size. It currently holds many records for size in the animal kingdom. It is the largest shark and largest living non mammalian creature. And it's been around for at least 26 million years. However, now they are endangered. Now, when you think of sharks, you think that they love to eat fish, and if they get a whiff of blood, they'll just go crazy. Well, whale sharks aren't like that at all. In fact, they are filter feeders, meaning they eat plankton, fish eggs, decaying plants, etc. So these sharks are pretty harmless. In fact, an aquarium in Atlanta lets you swim with them. In case that was on your bucket list, there you go. Mm -hmm. 